placing a TV with external speakers. Okay, I get this question asked quite a lot, actually, so it's good we can get around to answering it. Christian in Norway writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, if your stereo system is connected to a TV with one speaker on each side and you pull the speakers a couple of feet away from the wall, which you should do, where would you place the TV relative to the wall for best acoustics? Would you pull the TV a little farther out from the wall, have it on line with the speakers, close to the wall, or hang it on the wall? Well, the simple answer is you want the TV to go back as far as you can. You want that TV to be part of the wall, if you can. Because the best thing you can do, pulling a pair of speakers out from the wall, is to have nothing on the back wall, the wall or the front wall. A lot of people call it the front. Uh, I, I have always called it the back wall because it's the wall and back of the speakers. I've been trying to train myself to call it the front wall, which is how people think of it because it's the wall in front of them as they stare at their speakers. I, I, I do get things, I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying, but the wall behind the speakers where you would be looking at the TV, if you could have your druthers, you'd build that TV, you cut a hole in the wall and just you know flush mount it against the wall so that there would just be a wall. That would be ideal probably a little difficult. So the next best thing is to hang it on the wall. Because what you don't want is things coming out, interfering in your sound stage, which is an illusion, of course. But that sound stage is important, and that's why you pull your speakers away from the wall, to improve their frequency response. Because if we're too close to the wall, um, we get what's called a, um, a baffle uh, effect, you know, a um, so some frequencies will wrap around the baffle, uh, or baffle step, they'll wrap around the baffle and they will uh, hit, hit the surface if it's too close to the wall and amplify some frequencies more than others. For instance, the tweeter doesn't, its wavelengths are very short, so it doesn't wrap around, so you don't get any of that baffle step going straight on the tweeter, but the mid-range or the woofer, you absolutely do. So when we pull it away from the wall, we can lower that frequency anomaly so the speaker stands alone and sounds better, and it gives it room for a sound stage. So put the television as close as you can to the wall, and I think you'll be, uh, you'll be doing real well, okay? Th that's that's wha what I would advise, and that's why. Okay. Thanks, Christian. Talk to you guys later.